everybody. Welcome back to My View on the View. Come on in. Let's get started. Come on. Well, welcome back, everybody. This is My View on the View, a commentary podcast all about ABC's The View. I take The View's table and I make it relatable to our everyday lives by not focusing on nor analyzing the political positions of the women, but focusing on the table and the relational dynamics and revealing to all of us just what we can learn and make applicable to our everyday lives from those things. So thank you so much for joining me. Listen, if you have any questions about the music, about me, anything, check the description box. What you want to know and what you need to know is there, okay? I'm really excited to share with you guys that today's podcast is sponsored once again by BetterHelp. Listen, I know, I know because I've seen some of your comments that a lot of you are going through a really tough time right now and you need just a little bit of help, you know, navigating all that life is presenting to you now. And I don't want you to hesitate to find out how BetterHelp can assist you. BetterHelp is customized online therapy. So customized meaning they customize it to you. It's not the cookie cutter type of thing that most of us, I think, were used to back in the day when it came to therapy. No, it's customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with a therapist. You do not have to see anybody on camera if you're not comfortable doing that. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy, and you can start communicating with a therapist in under 48 hours. All My View on the View listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash mvotv. That's better com slash mvotv. So check the description box for the link no matter where you're listening to the sound of my voice. Right this on. is why o- AOC was Good. right. This is why AOC was right. When Build Back Better and the infrastructure bill came uh, to be passed, they were linked, right? They were linked. And the progressives gave up, and there were a hundred of them, right? Um, they gave up their leverage to, um, to make sure that the infrastructure mm-hmm. bill would pass. What Biden said was, I can get Manchin's vote. Let's de-link these and there won't be a problem. I can get the vote. What did show. Manchin do? Manchin reneged on that negotiation and said he was a no on Build Back Better. What Build Back Better, that framework included things like child care, universal preschool, paid family and Which medical they leave. Pay for. Expe- they can pay they for it. They cannot. They pay and for infrastructure. Why it and they, this funny, country pays for simple, so hey, many things, Tara. Simple, hey, this then country then pays for wars. Gotten passed. This country gives tax breaks to the rich. <laughs> this country does, it has doesn't, money it doesn't for everything work like except that. for poor people and Except for education and for health. That's not how it works. Trust me. This country does not so that was Tara Setmayer and Sonny Hostin in one of their epic battles there on The View. So let's talk about Sonny Hostin and Tara Setmayer. Here's what's really going on. So for a while now, now y'all, anytime I'm on social media, especially when Tara has been there and, you know, her and Sonny have had one of these little battles here, I always see various fans on the show commenting, right, on Twitter or on Instagram. So when these people hear these types of exchanges between Tara and Sonny, they immediately get a sinister feel. And then because, you know, they get that sinister feel, they immediately conclude Sonny and Tara just don't like each other. Or they'll say, seems like Sonny has a problem with Tara. Now, listen, none of us, none of us have a window into either of these ladies' hearts to know whether they like or dislike each other. But I did want to shed some light today on something for these specific fans who always say these types of things on social media. I think we too often assume the worst first, right? But I wonder, do these viewers ever ask themselves, is it possible that what I'm seeing between these two women is something else? Is it possible that I am getting a sinister feel (laughs) for no reason? Because maybe that's kind of all, you know, I'm used to seeing 
when it comes to television. We you know we're used to seeing all this fighting, these dramatics, especially with these the advent of these housewife series and all the other quote unquote reality TV shows. But again, they need to ask themselves, is it possible that this is something else? That it has nothing to do with these two women liking or even disliking each other. Well, I will tell you, in my view on The View, it is something else. And a few days back when Tara Setmer was on the show, she actually said something that to me better explained what these fans are seeing. So take a listen to this clip and I'll be right back. You guys all know this. I come from a law enforcement family. Sonny and I have had epic battles on our days in CNN over our positions on law enforcement and how they've handled shootings and things. You heard it. This is another reason why it's important for people to watch the show every single day because you you, when you don't watch every day and you just kind of dip in and out when there is a trending story or when there's been some fight or when something major has happened, like we'll be getting suspended a few months back in February. You really miss these little things like this that kind of explain what's really going on. Um, Sometimes we do see things, um, but as we continue to watch the show, the women, because it's a live show and because they're all, at least this particular panel, are very forthright and honest, they very often will explain these things to us. But listen, that's why I'm here in case you don't watch the show every day. You can just kind of tap into my view on The View and let me fill you in. So listen, I will tell you, I really think uh, the fans who are saying these types of things on social media either don't know that Tara and Sonny used to work together at CNN uh, when Sonny was a CNN contributor. Now, Tara still is a CNN contributor. Of course, Sonny is no longer a a contributor. Uh, So either they didn't know that or they forgot. I don't know. Um, But this is not these women's first time working together. And for those of you who watch CNN back in the day when Sonny and Tara would be on some of those same programs, you know you know that their interaction was just the same way it is now. Some would argue maybe they sparred even more heavily on those programs, you know, because this is daytime TV, right? But listen, very often when they were on CNN, just like on The View, they were both, you know, they were on the opposite sides of whatever the issue was being discussed. And so, of course, I mean, you just think about you and your friend or you and your coworker or you and your spouse, or you and your boyfriend and girlfriend, if you think the sky is blue and they think the sky is red and you guys are having a discussion about it, it could get intense. But does that mean you don't like each other? Does that mean you have something against the other one, right? Does it mean that, you know, something sinister is going on? No, it just simply means you think this, I think that we don't see it the same and we're having a pretty, you know, intense spar about it. But that's all that it is, guys. That's all that it is. So what do I think is really going on between these two women? I think it's simple. I think these viewers are seeing two very intelligent, competitive women spar. There's no there there. You know, a lot of you who watch the show daily You know that Tara has come on this show many times and she's told us just how competitive she is personally. A lot of you guys remember one time when she revealed that her husband was a twin. This was the first time she had said it on air and Whoopi was very surprised. Whoopi was like, what? You know, because she had never heard that. And so Tara talked about how when she first met her husband, uh, when they first started dating, she talked about one of the things that she wanted to see to see if he was kind of husband material is how he would handle uh, being able to lose to her because she said, I am very talented at many things. And she said, I'm also very competitive. And she said in the past, that had been a problem for some of the guys she had dated. They couldn't handle a woman like her who's intelligent, who was just good at many different things, right? And so she said they played a game of what? Do y'all remember? They played a game of pool. That was their one of their first dates. And he lost. <laughs> she won. And she said that's how she knew that, hey, there's potential here because he took the loss very well. And during that same conversation, Sunny talked about how competitive she is. And of course, since Sunny came to the show back in 2016, she's always talking about how competitive she is. Remember, she will not let go of that whole Jeopardy thing, right? And if you saw her on the Mother's Day um, um, version of uh, Chopped, I believe it was, on the Food Network, you know, Sunny is just extremely competitive. So again, I think that's all it is. Do any of you guys have competitive friends or are you a very competitive person? Any of you? I am not competitive. I'm more of a 
why can't we all win kind of girl, right? But I do have friends that are competitive and I will tell you, they're not just competitive, okay, when it comes to games, okay? No, 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 no. These folks are competitive with anything, especially arguments. They love to debate. They love, they can just go on and on and wear you out and finally just say, fine, fine, fine. (laughs) You see it that way. I see it this way. Let's agree to disagree agreeably. Now let's get to some of your comments. So a lot of us in this community, we love when Tara set mayors on the view. And most of us do agree that she truly elevates the conversation at the table whenever she does come. So I wanted to share just a few of your comments, okay? So uh, Jerry MacArthur says, Tara knows politics and she is well-informed. She makes her point without being defensive So far, she is my favorite. You know, Jerry had a really good point, and that's Jerry, J-E-R-I. You know, I never really thought of it that way, but Jerry is absolutely right. Tara isn't defensive. And we've seen, let's just take, for instance, Megan McCain. When Megan was there, um, if people didn't uh, excuse me, didn't didn't agree with her point, she would get very defensive. Um, Would you guys agree with me that Whoopi can also kind of lean to the defensive uh, side when people don't agree with her? I think she can. You may may see it differently. Let me know in the comments. And then another commenter, Sheila Adams Toby, T-O-B-Y, she said about Tara, I have watched Tara for some time on MSNBC. She made her points or views in a professional and respectful manner. She can be humorous as well. I've always liked her and hope she is chosen. And of course, um, Sheila was talking about in the sense of, you know, we know that they've been searching for some time now, right, y'all? They've been searching actually since the summer of 2021 uh, for a woman to fill Meghan McCain's seat. And so far, we're now in June of 2022. They've not made a decision yet that we know of. And Sheila, like a lot of us, would love to see Tara get this job. Now, most of us do, you know, understand that, you know, the view is kind of looking for something very, very specific. If you were with me last week, I uh, did a podcast and uh, those of you who missed it, I will put the link in the description box where uh, executive producer Brian Tedda, he literally ran down the list of exactly what they were looking for. And so for us as viewers, we need to understand that whoever that woman is, even if she's our favorite, if she doesn't fit what's on that list, Uh, particularly bringing an opposing view, she probably is not going to get the job, okay? So guys, that's what I had to share with you. Sunny Hostin and Tara Mayer, here's what's really going on. Two competitive, very intelligent women sparring. That's all it is. So thanks so much for tuning in. Listen, don't forget to check out the betterhelp.com link that's in the description box. For those of you listening on YouTube, don't forget about our community tab. That is like the YouTube channels and my personal (laughs) Instagram page. So I always put things over there um, just to let you know what's going on with the YouTube channel, to let you just know what's going on in my life, all those types of things. So for those of you who like to know a little bit more about me, that would be the place to go. So thanks so much for tuning in. I really enjoyed our time together today. This is My View on the View, a commentary podcast all about ABC's The View. I'll talk to you on the next one. Here we go, here we go again. Trying hard, but you want to be my friend. Ain't no place to hide, ain't no one to run to. Here we go.